I'm a big fan of digital journaling for personal growth, but I'm not a big fan of most journaling prompts, which tend to focus on what you accomplish throughout your day. So for years, I've been using a different type of journaling for personal growth that's based on my effort and intention instead of the outcome called daily questions. And in this video, I'm gonna share the shortcut that I made to streamline my daily journaling process at the end of my day. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at my journaling process, I recorded a separate video a while back which walks through all the details of the daily question format that I use. If you wanna dive deep on the process, you should go check out that video, but I'll touch on it briefly here before we get into the shortcut. So the basic premise of daily questions journaling is that you rate yourself on your intentions, not on the outcome. You simply rate yourself on a scale from one to 10 based on if you did your best to move the needle in a particular area. This type of journaling has much less friction for me as I found myself resisting journaling when I had a bad day the other way. If I didn't accomplish what I wanted, I resisted journaling because I wouldn't have anything to add for my outcome-based prompts. But with daily questions, the goal is simply to move the needle in the areas of your life that you define as important. Now you can decide for yourself what those areas are, but here are mine as an example. Every day I ask myself, did I do my best to grow spiritually, love my wife, love my kids, be a good friend, learn something, create something, and exercise. I find this form of journaling is much easier to do consistently because I don't have to judge myself based on what I got done or what I accomplished. So for example, if I'm training for a half marathon and I'm supposed to run 12 miles, but I cut it short after six, I might rate myself a five. But if I'm getting over a cold and I just don't feel like going, but I end up doing a slow three miles anyway, I might rate that a 10. Remember, the rating is based on the intention, not the outcome. And as long as I did my best, I'll give myself a good score. Now what makes this click is that if you consistently put in the effort, the results will come. If you do the right things consistently, the score takes care of itself. And since you can't really control the results anyway, I believe it makes more sense to focus on the effort. Control what you can control and be intentional about your actions. That's the daily questions format in a nutshell. Now I've been tracking all of this in Obsidian for a couple of years now. I started in 2021, but my process continues to evolve. And one of the things that I noticed is that I don't like opening up the Obsidian app at the end of my day to jot down my daily question scores. So I started looking for a way to quickly capture my responses, which would minimize the amount of time that I had to spend in the app at the end of the day. I've been intrigued by using shortcuts to do this for a while, but since I don't use Obsidian via iCloud, I don't really have many options. I prefer to use the Obsidian Sync service and keep my notes stored locally in the app as iCloud, I find, tends to try and be too smart about file management, which causes Obsidian to be slow when I open it. But then I came across a handy utility called Actions for Obsidian by Carlo Zotman, which gives you additional shortcuts hooks into your Obsidian vault. Now, originally this app was available only for the Mac, but it's now available on iOS as well. And what it does is basically provide a bunch of new shortcuts actions that allow you to do things like get a data view list, trigger a command, append text to a specific note, and a lot more. There are over 40 actions altogether that get added to the shortcuts app, and there's a whole section of actions just for periodic notes. So when this utility came to iOS 2, I decided to try to build a shortcut that would allow me to, well, shortcut my daily questions journaling process at the end of my day. Here's how I did it. First, I modified my daily notes template file in my Obsidian Vault and I created a placeholder where I wanted to put the text from the shortcut. To add a placeholder, you just use two percent signs, your placeholder text, and then two more percent signs. So here in my daily notes template, you can see I've labeled the placeholder daily questions. Now in the old version of the template, I had the full daily questions text here and I would just put in the values after the tags. But with shortcuts, it's easier to combine the values into a larger text block and just paste the whole thing in one go. So I took out the text for the daily questions section and I replaced it with this placeholder so I would only have to paste text into Obsidian when the shortcut ran once. Next, I built the shortcut using a few of the actions installed by the Actions for Obsidian app. Now, there's a little bit of a setup process for this. So when you first open the app, you'll see a big blue button to tap, which will walk you through connecting Actions for Obsidian to your specific Obsidian Vault. Tapping the button will open a wizard that walks you through the whole process, but basically you need to install a community plugin called Actions URI that provides some additional hooks into Obsidian on iOS so it can communicate directly with Actions for Obsidian. Now the first step here is to type in the name of your vault. 
I named mine mobile, so I'll type that in the text box here. The next step is to make sure that the community plugins are enabled, so on the next screen, tap the button to open your vault, go to the community plugins section, and make sure that community plugins are turned on. Next, you'll need to install the Actions URI Community Plugin, so tap the blue button to go to the Actions URI Community Plugin and install and enable that plugin. Now, once you've done that, the next screen has a blue button that you can use to make sure that the connection is made correctly by asking Obsidian to call back to the Actions for Obsidian app. Now, if this works, you'll see a green success message below the button. Then you can just tap Continue and you're ready to start building shortcuts with those additional shortcuts actions. All right, so now that Actions for Obsidian is connected, let's go into shortcuts and take a look at the actual shortcut. Now, the first part of this is to use the Ask for Input action under the Scripting section. So if you're building this from scratch, you would add this into your shortcut and then set the Ask for type to number and add the prompt you want to use. So my first daily question is, did I do my best to be spiritual? So I've added that as the prompt. And then next, add the set variable action below this to give the variable a name. So in this case, it's spiritual using the provided input from the previous action. This will take the number that you enter in the first action and save it as a variable that you can use later. Now the rest of this top section is simply repeating the ask for input action with different prompts and saving them as individual variables. I won't walk through all of these, but it is important that you can tell what your variables are so you can add them back in the next step. All right, so next we'll add a text action and enter the text that would have previously been in the daily questions section of my template. The first line is, did I do my best to? And then we have bullets for the different questions and the tags we're going to assign the values to. So for grow spiritually, we have a tag of daily questions slash spiritual, then a colon, and immediately after the colon, without a space, we want to put the spiritual variable that we set up above. This will place the number that we enter for that variable into this text block. And again, we'll repeat this for the other questions and variables. This will provide a clean block of text that we can simply insert at the placeholder in our daily note when the shortcut runs. Okay, so now the next step is to make sure that the daily note for today is actually created in our Obsidian Vault. And this is where we'll rely on the new actions from the Actions for Obsidian app. So under the periodic notes section of the added shortcuts actions, we'll use create periodic note. We want to create a daily note, but as you can see, you can actually use this for other periodic notes as well, if you have the periodic notes community plugin installed and enabled. For daily notes, all you need to do is have the daily notes core plugin turned on. Next, you need to choose the vault you want the daily note created in. I'm gonna use my mobile vault. Then you can choose what you want to appear in the note body. Now here you'll want to make sure that you have your daily notes template set up in the daily notes section of your obsidian settings. As long as you have this set in the shortcuts action, you can actually leave the note body section blank. This will defer the contents of the note to the standard template settings in obsidian, which is what we really want to use anyway. So next tap on the carrot to make sure that the strategy for dealing with an existing note is to leave it as is. This makes sure that you won't override it when you trigger the shortcut, which is important if you use your daily note for things other than the daily questions journaling. Next, select the insert text at placeholder in periodic note action. For this one, we want to insert the text from the text block up above, and we want to insert it at the placeholder daily questions. Note that you just need the placeholder name here without the 2% signs on either side. Make sure that this is set to place the text in the current daily note, and make sure that it's pointing at the correct vault, in this case, my mobile vault. Again, tap the caret and make sure that allow empty replacement is toggled off and under where should the text be inserted that it's set to replace placeholder. This will place the entire text block into the note in the place where the placeholder was. All right, so now that we've got it set up, here's what it looks like when we run it. Let's open up the shortcuts app, run the shortcut and answer the prompts. I'll answer nine for spiritual, nine for love my wife, eight for love my kids, seven for be a good friend, eight for learn something, nine for create something, and eight for exercise. Now shortcuts takes my responses here, does its thing, and once the shortcut is finished, we're taken back to the actions for Obsidian screen. But if we switch back to Obsidian, we'll see our current daily note is opened with the template applied and the shortcut results are added into the daily questions section. Now a couple of things that you should be aware of with this. 
First, I don't always journal from my phone, so I actually have a separate version of this shortcut set up for when I journal from my Mac. But that requires that I have the macOS version of Actions for Obsidian installed, and I have it pointing at the vault on my Mac, which is technically different. My vaults are connected via Obsidian Sync, but they're named differently, and therefore they require two separate shortcuts and two separate licenses for Actions for Obsidian. Second, this shortcut only works for the current daily note. It's intended to be used at the end of the day, but if I miss a day, I can't use this shortcut to add responses for previous days. So for that, I created a simple text expander snippet that I can use to manually replace the placeholder in the daily notes template if I do have to go back and make up a day. Lastly, these shortcut actions aren't free to use. You do have to pay to use actions for Obsidian. And there's a couple different plans that you can choose from based on how useful you think Actions for Obsidian is to your workflows. The plans are all one-time purchases, and you can get a discount if you buy a license for both the macOS and iOS versions. Personally, I think Actions for Obsidian is a really cool idea, and the shortcuts actions are really useful. Now, obviously, you can do a lot more than just what I've shown you here today, and if you're going to use shortcuts with Obsidian, I believe that Actions for Obsidian is a worthwhile investment. Now, by the way, if you want to download either the iOS or macOS versions of the shortcut that I've ascribed here today for yourself, I've actually just added them to my Obsidian University Starter Vault. So just open the shortcut section and you'll see notes that have the links to download the shortcuts, as well as a link to my updated daily notes template file with the placeholder added. You'll also get a bunch of other tips to help you make more of your notes and ideas in Obsidian, some additional resources like a Markdown reference guide, a bunch of other templates, and a coupon code for my Obsidian 101 course. You can download the Obsidian University Starter Vault for free by going to obsidianuniversity.com vault.